In this tutorial, we are going to make this stacking card animation while scrolling. Nowadays, this kind of animation has become pretty popular in the web. So let's do the design using frame. I have already set up the design file. Let me explain first what we have here. So first we have this stack and inside this we just have a text and then we have this one, two, three, four case studies, let's say, and inside each stack, these are stacks, and inside each stack, we I have created this frame, and each frame contains just images, just for the simplicity of this demonstration. Now, let's see what happens when we play this. There is no animation here, nothing. So it's just scrolls, right? So what we want to have here, we want to scroll this section and then when this image appears, we want to make it sticky at this place, at the top. And then we want to have the second image on top of the first image. And while having that, we also want to decrease the size of the first one. So let's try this out. What happens if we make this one sticky? So we select the first stack, which is named as one. Then we go over here. We see the position is relative, right? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it sticky. So it reduces the size automatically. Let's make this, make this 100 view height. Now, if we play this, you'll see nothing is happening, but it should work, right? Because we made that a sticky and this should at the top. The reason it's not working is because one thing, this is very important, which is we want to have the whole frame as overflown to be visible. If we make this, this is a CSS property. So if we make this overflow visible, then the sticky will appear. If we now scroll, look, this one sticks and the next one comes, this one goes, all the all the other friends goes. Why? Because those are not a sticky. So now what we are gonna do, we're gonna select each of the frame, like two, three, and four, and make them sticky. Um, not the four, cause we want this one to go. So let's try with the two. And for both, I'm gonna give 100 view height. Now, if we check what happens, so it sticks, the second one sticks, the third one sticks, and the fourth one, it is not a sticky, so it is scrolling up. Now, the problem here is the final one is going from the bottom of the other three. So the way we can solve it by giving a Z index to each stack. So let's say we provide Z index to the first one. So we're going to do it one by one. So we come to style over here, click on this plus and add Z index one. And if we now give the second one Z index value two, then it will go on top of it. And the third one for the third one, I'm going to select like the stack number two, not stack number three, but yeah, we, we named it as two. So I'm going to Z index 3 over here, this one Z index 4, this one um, Z index 5, let's say, and also I will have the same Z index value for the last part, last tag. Right now, let's see what happens if we now play it, it's gonna stick. And yes, we have the second one on top of the first one. Then, yeah, it's, it's, it is working the way we want it. Exactly. But no animation is happening. So what we want here, we want the first one to be stick, which we have done. And now we want the second one on top of the first one. We have this as well. Now, what we want is when the second image appears, we want the first image to be decreased in size, right? So the way to do it, we are going to rename each section, each stack, right? 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here, select the one, and then from the right side panel, we see this is scroll section. We click on the plus button and give it a name. Uh, one. Yeah, exactly one. And the second one, we're going to give it a name two. Now it is automatically appearing because it was here. I copied it from this example, right? That's why it is Framer is smart enough to remember the name I gave them. On stack three, we're going to rename, give this a name stack three. And then over here, we're going to give this a name stack four, right? And this should be, we should also be naming this as the last, last tag as contact us maybe. So if I click on this, yeah, it's named as contact. I, I did it previously, but let me write it again. So yeah, we have named this. Now what we need to do is we want to apply animation over here in this work frame, right? So we go to the effect and click on plus and we want to scroll transform while we scroll then we want to transform this frame that's why we need this so if i click on this what we want is when this section appears then we want to do something with the first one right so we are going to select section in view which section and view for we are going to select by default this one and which section we want to have here section two which we rename this one right so when this one comes we want to make it so from default value to opacity one maybe and we're going to scale it down like this right so let's see what happens so if we do this this one comes and you see it is scaling down the first image is scaling down why because the second section is the section which is named as two. It, it is coming in the viewport and the first image is scaling down. So we want to have this animation for all the images. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this one, copy the effect and paste it to the rest of the two. Not the third one because we want to scroll it. So I'm going to come here paste it and then go over here and change the value of this section right so this appears this should it should the 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 transform should happen when we have the third section and here the transform should happen when we have the fourth section like this one right so now if we check let's see what happens we scroll it is it is a scaling down. Now the second one comes. Yeah, the third one. Yeah, exactly. This is what we wanted. Now we want this to be scrolled up. Now the problem here remains is, yeah, it is a scaling down, but nothing is happening. Like it is staying on the screen, right? So how can we solve this? So what we need to do over here is we want to apply another scroll effect here when the fourth section or this contact us section comes. So in order to have that, we are going to apply a trick here. So we go over here, select this, and you see add section here. Now what we can do, we can add another section. So what I want specifically here is this image is scaling down when the second one is coming. Now what I want when the third one comes, I want it to be vanished from the screen just like that so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select the third one and i'll give opacity zero and I scale down it to zero right and then i'll do the same for the next one so add section i'm gonna select section four which is the this image right when it comes i want it to be gone from the screen for the third one what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add section and then i will use contact the this section and then i want it to be zero zero 
now if I if we play this or let's see what happens so it scales down exactly what we wanted this is fine now see the this contact as section comes in the viewport and we see this image is going away from the view now how can we remove it from the, our viewport so the way to do it is by selecting this and then we go to we're gonna go to the effect and then over here what we did we reduced the opacity to zero scaled it down to zero now what we're going to do we're gonna push it let's see what happens so i'm gonna make it one one yeah we're gonna push it to the top so that it goes behind this while scaling it down it goes behind the fourth image so i'm gonna give maybe minus 500 right it goes up right if we give plus 500 it's gonna push it down so we want a minus negative value here or in the y-axis so now i'm gonna make it zero and zero again now it's gonna work perfectly that the way we want it so we scroll everything is working till now and now the moment of truth come look we don't see that because that is that has been already pushed up right when this section appears so yeah cool this is it now you can change the transition you can put another value and you can do so many things but this is the basic one thing remember most of the beginners face uh, this situation the sticky doesn't work the, w the reason it is not working because we need to make the overflow visible in the main frame all right so yeah this was it i think you have enjoyed this video and learned something new if you didn't know how to make this kind of stacking animation while it's crawling so yeah i'll see you in the next one